So yes, now we have, if I look at the menu screen, 280 points. And hey, the glitch is actually gone. Now it says that we do have 280 points. That's good, because we got 50 points from the lesson, 20 points for collecting all the stars. So that is correct, I think. Yes, I believe so. And yes, let's just continue with the next part of the game. There are no secret areas or wizard cards to collect in this bit, but you can see that Hagrid is right there, so let's go and talk to him, shall we? There you are. I hope you did well in your herbology class. I've got something I need to talk to you about. Be best to discuss it back at my hut. Meantime, you're gonna be late for your broomstick training. Off you go. So yes, we got some more broomstick uh, training to do, apparently. Hagrid is still working on this uh, nice little sculpture. But you might be thinking, hey, now that you have learned the incendio spell, can we whack some of those bushes around to get some more beans? It's a good and valid question. And what I think is even more mysterious is that suddenly there are beans on this section of the map. I'll happily take those beans. You know, um, I'm not complaining in anything, but it's weird how I went to this area before. There weren't any beans, and now there are. So, yeah, it's a bit weird how that actually happens. But, hey, I'll take the beans. I'm more than happy to take them. So nothing in this area, so let's go talk to the NPC yet again. Off the broomstick training, Potter. Don't be late. Yes, and he has some more unique dialogue for those who want to, to uh, see those di those dialogue lines. Um, whatever. Let's just see if he has more. Come back when you're big enough to fly a broomstick. Hey, don't be mean to me. Go to your lessons, Potter. Quidditch isn't for first years. Well, he has a point. Off the broomstick training, Potter. Don't be late. Yeah, okay, so you pretty much get the point. Ugh. Um, so no, we cannot whack those trees and bushes around for incendio. I think, mm, for the most part, I think the Incendio spell will be used to uh, get rid of the plant enemies, so the Spiky and the Snappers. Um, I think that's pretty much the point here. So, let's go to Broomstick Training, and let's see what happens. If I know where to go to Broomstick Training, I guess it's right there, because I see an NPC waiting for me. So you know what I'm gonna do? <gasps> I'm just gonna go and get here. Cause, you know why? Why? Random treasure chest. That is why. That treasure chest wasn't here the first time I uh, went outside. And now suddenly it is. You see, things just change in Hogwarts every time you load from to, to another map. Things just, they just change. And I mean, okay, this is just one treasure chest and it has a couple of beans in it, but it, it's the thought that counts, that the maps keep on changing in slight ways, that this game isn't linear at all. As a matter of fact, this game wants you to keep on exploring the same maps over and over and over again. So, it's pretty weird. But I think I have wasted enough time here, I've opened up the chest. Uh, if you're curious... Um, unlike in the first game, where you, no, I mean, un sorry, un unlike in the second game where you had a, a little bit of freedom to explore whatever you want to, you can go back inside uh, Hogwarts right now, you're really just closed off to this section. Um, let's see if there's no secret here, nope. So again, if you did not discover this secret the first time you went outside, you're out of luck, you don't think you can reactivate it. But yeah, I think we have done everything that we can do. Like I said, there are no real secrets. There are no wizard cards to collect in this bit. So I guess we're going to just go and see the cutscene. Here comes Neville. He looks quite upset. Best go and see what he wants. Please help me. So Longbottom has gone sniveling to you, and you want me to give you his precious Remembrol. I think I'll leave it somewhere for Longbottom to collect. How about up a tree? <laughs> Think you can catch me? Come on then, Potter. Give me back Neville's Remember All, Malfoy. 
You want the remember all back? See if you can catch it. And you better watch out for my bludgers. Oh boy, obligatory broomstick training. Oh my god, this is so weird. You pretty much have to bump into him. There's no real spell or kick you have to do like in the second game. There are also no wizard cards to collect. It's just flying around and I think if you take too long it'll just go in the loop. Um, but yeah. Just try to keep on flying and bump into him. And then... That's it. You damaged my broomstick, Potter! You'll pay for this! Here, take this stupid thing. I've no use for it. You've got my remember all back. Thanks, Harry. I'll be able to find my toad now. Come here, Trevor. Come back! I remember now. I left Trevor near the herbology class. There are plants there that eat toads! Mr. Potter, I'm Professor McGonagall, Deputy Headmistress of Hogwarts and Head of Gryffindor House. Although I do not approve of your chasing Malfoy about, I'll admit you have remarkable talent on a broomstick. Ordinarily, first-year students may not compete in Quidditch. In your case, we might overlook that rule. Harry, Gryffindor's first Quidditch match of the year is later this afternoon against the formidable Slytherin team. See you then. It's, it's really weird how fast-paced this game is right now. Um... So yeah, you know, Professor McGonagall says, Okay, I guess we'll make an exception for you. Um, there's no such thing as training. There's no such thing as actually uh, having like a first training session to see if you're actually fit to the job. No, there's just a game this afternoon and you're selected for the team already, just this instantly. You don't even know who, who your teammates are, so whatever. Doesn't matter. It's Quidditch, man. It's not a team sport. It's an individual sport, man. You know who's the hero in the game of Quidditch. Anyways, the game says that, again, there are no secret areas, no wizard cards to collect. Um, but we have to find Hagrid's huts. But, of course, it's going to be so much fun now that we can go back to that NPC. Um, to actually mock about and say, Haha, I can play Quidditch now, lol. Also, look, another tiny change in the map. Hagrid is done decorating this bush. And it looks like another standard dragon statue or whatever and shame there are no um, there are no beans you can get from it but okay that's good um oh so this is gonna be a fun area now now you can just say na 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 i'm gonna play quidditch na 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 <laughs> how could they allow first year to play quidditch oh how can they you on the quidditch team i thought you'd be walking after this little match now, get your lessons, Potter. I still love it how he says, get to your lessons, instead of, what? How the, how can you, I mean, you're for, no. A first year on the Quidditch team, what a joke. Yep. How could they allow a first year to play Quidditch? Uh, I guess that's pretty much all of the dialogue he has. You, on the Quidditch team. Yeah. I doubt you'll be walking off to this living room. Another interesting thing is that the banners actually disappeared. So maybe the banners actually had some sort of a secret, but for some reason the banners just disappear. Another weird uh, detail. I don't know what was up with them. Maybe actually if I hit the banners now, maybe that would have been a secret, but I guess it doesn't really matter right now. It's too late. It's too late to apologize or something. I don't know. Again, you cannot go to... Uh, you know, where uh, Neville has gone to pick up his toad. This is a really weird jump. You can't go back to Hogwarts. You really have to go to Hagrid's hut. It's important. We have to go there. We can't go in here. And I know I probably will get a lot of complaints, um, maybe from people who say, Look, when you were flying against Malfoy, uh, with Malfoy to get that Remember All back, I wanted to see more of the area you're flying in. 
Because it's actually quite a big area when you're flying in. It could go on for quite a while, actually. Um, but I just wanted to get it over with because it's a pretty stupid section, if you ask me. I mean, it's just... Um, you fly, and you kick Malfoy in the face, and that's it. That's pretty much all there is to it. Um, so you can't go back here, but we have to go to Hagrid's hut. Now you see that this gate is finally open, so I guess we have to go here. It's the only choice that we have. But here is the thing, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to stop playing for now, and next time we're going to go to Hagrid's hut, and then we have to do an important mission for him. If you've seen the movie, you kind of know where this is going. Where, 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 yeah. Like I <laughs> Shit, I can't even finish my sentences. Like I, I mean that you know where this is going. If you've seen the movie or even read the book, um, you know you know exactly what to do. Just as a little recap, we're going to have our final overview of the menu screen. In a sense, we have 280 points, while Slytherin has 297. For some reason, they still have more points than, than we do, but we're really closing in on them. We have 11 out of 25 wizard cards, which I think is the maximum for now. There are going to be, of course, more wizard cards in the next few episodes. And we have 264 beans, which I think is, for now, more than enough um, to keep on going. So yes, while I am going to go to the next area, I'm going to go uh, save it up because it's actually an autosave uh, once you go to the next area. But I'm going to say goodbye to you for now because, you know... I'm this, this is all I can do for today. <laughs> so, I want to thank you guys for watching, of course. Like a favorite if you like the content. Subscribe to our channel. Make your three from upcoming videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.